Jackie Robinson lets it on over to Kevin. I Not hope yet. so, Kevin, or you're in trouble, dude. <laughs> well, you know what, Buckeye Chuck, probably just wanting to know what all the fuss is about out there. Well, he's calling for an early spring. Phil's calling for six more weeks of winter. I think Phil's going to win this one out at least this week because it's several waves of cold that's coming our way, and the next one will probably deliver at least a light accumulation of snow come midweek. So here's a look outside tonight. We are losing that blanket of cloud cover. It's going to make for a very chilly one. Check out Power of Five Live Radar. There are still a few flurries and leftover snow showers out there, but they're not going to amount to much, especially from the east side of Cincinnati here, oh, from Interstate 71 back through the 275 loop, and then as you head across parts of Claremont and Brown counties there, even on over into Adams County as well, and then down across the river into parts of northern Kentucky from Falmouth to Maysville. A few leftover straggling flurries. That's really about it. It's been all about the cold winds today, and that boy, that brisk northwesterly wind really helping to add a bite to the air. This is in the wake of yesterday's big winter storm that bypassed us to our north and is now moving through the northeast. Cold northwesterly winds are settling in across the area. Look at our temperatures. They range from 24 in Peebles to 26 in Maysville, 21 in both Hillsboro and Wilmington. Right now, to about 23 Mason, 23 over in Florence, 24 in Hamilton at this hour. Bundle up if you're heading out this evening. A few clouds, and there still can be a few more lingering flurries, especially through about, oh, 7 30, 8 o'clock, with temperatures nose diving their way down through the 20s. Here's a look at future casts. With skies clearing overnight, it'll turn pretty chilly on us. We'll be down into the teens by morning. Looks like a nice looking Tuesday, albeit it'll be on the chilly side in the low 30s for highs tomorrow. Then as we get into Wednesday, Wednesday's going to be one of those. Those very interesting weather days because during the day on Wednesday, everything should appear fairly nice. As a matter of fact, Wednesday will be our warmest day this week. Temperatures will climb their way probably into the mid 40s on Wednesday underneath partly cloudy skies. However, snow will be breaking out to our north and west across parts of Illinois and Indiana as an Arctic cold front arrives. And Wednesday evening, expect some fairly drastic changes in the weather as we go from 40s during the afternoon hours to snow Wednesday evening. And it looks like with this blast of cold, the snow will come down heavy for a brief period of time and probably put down a quick inch or two of snow here, wind driven snow. And then by Thursday morning, any of those snow showers will be wrapping up. So, Wednesday night, maybe Thursday morning's commute could be a bit on the tricky side. Could have some school closers on Thursday morning. So, you want to stay tuned for that. 17 for an overnight low tonight underneath bitter cold conditions. And then tomorrow, cold sunshine, breezy. Look for an afternoon high of around 36. Here's a look at your day planner 19 at 8 a.m. Tomorrow and then by lunchtime, barely creeping our way above freezing. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Again, we go from mid 40s on Wednesday to snow Wednesday evening and 18 by Thursday morning. And then look at that down to nine Thursday night. And then a brief warm up on Saturday with maybe another storm system in here on Sunday. I choose to ignore it.